Hi, I'm Kane thomas Reedus, Senior Director of Community and Learning and a Civic Youth Ensemble's dad. And my name is Deborah Kang, Director of Education. Thank you for tuning in to your CYE virtual performance. For nearly a year now, the pandemic has driven us to meet, learn, and create music in unconventional ways. And in a normal season, we would welcome hundreds of students, all of you, into our building for weekly rehearsals, preparing for our orchestra hall performances. Instead, we've had to rely on technology to bring us all together, learning to play along click tracks and making new friends all through Zoom. We couldn't have done any of this without you. I wanna thank our students, our families, our faculty, our staff, our orchestra musicians who have been acting as faculty this season. It has been a season like no other, and I think it's gone better than we could have imagined under the circumstances. As a dad, I'm very excited about this opportunity. It is our 50th anniversary of Civic Youth Ensembles, and while we can't celebrate it quite the same way we would have liked this season, we will continue that celebration next season. So stay with us and see everything that we bring. For now, we've got a fantastic concert. Please enjoy the show. Hi everyone, this is Danny D. Rose. I am the conductor of the Arco String Orchestra in the Wu Family Academy under the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. I just wanted to take a moment to say a few words about this fall and all the amazing things we accomplished in the Arco String Orchestra as well as the other ensembles in the Wu Family Academy. We are living in times that are unlike anything we've seen before. We can't go outside, Many of us can't do private lessons in person. Some of us haven't seen our orchestra colleagues at school in person in a very long time. But what we accomplished this semester was amazing. All online, we had, were resilient, 
we worked hard, we stayed positive, and we were open to change. All of these things led to a really, really successful semester of learning. Some students came in having never played in an orchestra. This was their first orchestral experience. Some other students came in not knowing how to read music and leaving the semester knowing how to read music. Others improved their technique, while others simply enjoyed making new friends and having a great time every Saturday morning. The big point I want to get across is we were open to something different, both as conductors, as students, as mentors, as an organization. And I think it's really important to realize what an accomplishment that is. Not only were we able to put on an online concert, which you may have seen already or you'll see, see soon when it's released, but we were able to learn together in a new way by being open to new ideas and new ways of learning. And I think that in and of itself is an amazing thing and something for the rest of our lives we'll be able to look back on and say, you know what, it was a tough time, but we pushed through, we were open, we were positive, we were resilient, and we accomplished something amazing. So I wish you all a happy new year. It looks like there's light at the end of the tunnel. Stay safe, mask up, and I'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye. In spite of everything, music brings us all together in the end. And I'm really grateful for the staff, for students, and especially for the families for hanging in there and sticking with us through this very difficult time. Music never fails to bring us all together. And the evidence is right here. <laughs>
Hello everybody, my name is Mark Mutter and I am the director of the Concert String Orchestra and co-director of the Pizzicato String Ensemble. I hope you'll enjoy the videos that we've put together for you. We had fun preparing for them over the fall semester. It's been a great experience working with your children online and I can't wait to see them again, hopefully in the fall, in person. But this truly has been a treasure just to see their resiliency and positive attitudes as we've all learned how to work together online. Hope you enjoy the videos.
Good afternoon, Civic Concert Band. I just wanted to take a moment and thank you all for an outstanding job this past semester. Um, I want to thank you for being dedicated, for staying committed, uh, and for being flexible in this new virtual um, situation that we find ourselves. I'm so proud of you all. You're fantastic people, great musicians. I also want to thank your parents for allowing me to, to come into your homes via Zoom and talk loud and rehearse and do all those things that we do every week. Mr. Crutcher is proud of you all. He's grateful for you all. And I'm looking so forward to starting rehearsals again and doing this next concert even better. So good luck and I'll talk to you later.
Hi, Symphonic Band. You guys did a great job pushing through that the first cycle, persevering through all of those weird new obstacles. And I'm so proud of the final outcome that we put together on Paper Cut. I'm really excited to see how our next cycle goes. Uh, keep up the good work, keep pushing through, keep learning new things, working hard, and we're gonna have a great time. We'll see you through the screen.
Civic is a wonderful memory to me. I was uh, nine or 10 when I did Civic. My feet barely touched the ground when I sat in my chair. My first memory of the orchestra, I was a little 10 year old and we did auditions on the stage. Never ever played in anything resembling orchestra hall. And I remember I put my, you know, my, my bow on the string and I play one note and I just stopped because I had never heard anything like that before come out of my instrument. That is still one of my top memories as a musician. My first performance with CJO was in Orchestra Hall. And I remember telling all my family, you know, telling my friends, everybody, like, I'm gonna be playing at Orchestra Hall. I was so hyped about the whole thing. principal flute of the Flint Symphony and I'm instructor of flute at the Flint School of Performing Arts. Now I'm doing my pediatrics residency in uh, Dallas, right in the heart of COVID. I'm currently in Baton Rouge to play with the Baton Rouge Symphony on Thursday. I create soundtracks behind film and TV that you guys love, licensing music and negotiating fees and trying to get composers in there and it's such a blast doing what I do and I still love being in music. I teach in New York but I also teach in Connecticut and also teach at Peabody. Playing in that orchestra kind of gave me the whole world. It was playing in that orchestra that taught me what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I can't thank the program enough for that. Hi everybody, I'm Hunter Janess, our education coordinator. And I'm Sarah Yates, the Training Ensembles Operations Coordinator. And I'm Michaela Chapman, the Training Ensembles Recruitment and Development Coordinator. We just wanted to take a second and say how proud we are of everybody for pivoting to our new virtual format and being able to produce such amazing results through the concerts that we are premiering today. And all of you did just such an amazing job switching with us and working with us. And your patience and level of dedication to the program was inspiring to us all. And I've known many of you guys for almost three years now, and it's just so amazing for me to see you continue to grow as musicians, even during such challenging circumstances. So congratulations, and we can't wait to see how you progress this spring semester.
Hey CYE students, it's Red here, and I just wanted to say great job on playing on your first videos for CYE. Man, that's amazing. You did it all virtually without even being able to hear each other. You guys did an amazing job, and I look forward to just continue working with you guys. Uh, great talent, great people to be around, and just great people to have met all, all around. So thank you for uh, working together, and I look forward to what we do next. All right. Hey everybody, just wanted to make this video real quick to say how proud I am of all of you for this last semester. Um, you know, these videos that came out are so amazing and a true testament to all of your musicianship and the hard work that you guys have put in this past semester. Um, let's keep it up, let's keep the energy going into this next, uh, this spring semester. And uh, you know, I know these are, these are different times that we're in right now, not being able to meet. Uh, but you all are making the most of it and uh i look i always look forward to coming out tuesdays to spend time with you all and, and to make music with you all it's something i look forward to every week so i look forward to this tuesday um getting together with you all and making some more music and hopefully creating some more videos this semester uh, so please keep up the good work i'm super proud of you we're all proud of you and yeah we'll see you soon Hello, CYE Jazz students. This is Professor Chandler here. It was a pleasure working with you this fall, and I'm looking for more to come. You did a great job. Congratulations.
Hi everyone, I wanted to take a second and just say congratulations on making it through the performance and I hope you enjoy the product that we're able to put together. I wanted to say as I thought back on my time in youth orchestra when I was your age, I was there really for three reasons. The first was musical reasons. The second was for social reasons because I enjoyed hanging out with my friends. And the third was kind of the personal benefits that I got for kind of life skills of time management. And I'm so proud of you guys because it's really difficult when, you know, one of those gets taken away from you. And, and I think that the music learning has been challenging in various ways. And we definitely don't have the social aspects that we, that we would typically have during a normal season. And, and you certainly miss coming to orchestra hall and hanging out with your friends. But I just really encourage you to stick with it through this next semester and let's get another good concert together so that we can get back to normal in the fall, hopefully. And I wanna point out how important, you know, a challenging time like this is for you if you really focus on the life skill component and how you've had to really become efficient in the way that you manage your time in the way that you go about completing tasks that you have and probably your organization. So let's make some more great music. I hope you enjoy the performance we put together and I look forward to seeing you all really soon. Thanks and stay well. Hello, DSYO musicians and families. I hope everybody's doing well. Something I've always loved about the DSYO is its capacity to create a community among everybody who participates in it. And I was pleasantly surprised to see how that happened in the fall when we all were online from our homes during those virtual rehearsals. That says a lot about everybody who organized it and planned all those activities. And of course, everybody who participated. So congratulations. We are now at the last stretch of this pandemic and we are all waiting for the time when we can be at Orchestra Hall and making music together. Meanwhile though, I'm looking forward to virtual rehearsals and working on great music with all of you. Be well.
Thank you.